Okay, you can be honest. Did you try Scotty Schiffler's footwork after he won the 2024 Masters? A lot of people have, and there's been drills about it because he does transfer his weight really well. Scotty Schiffler's swing requires the perfect timing and a ton of practice. But if you're a newer golfer or you don't have that much time to practice it, I would recommend staying clear of that right foot movement as a drill and instead try these two drills that I learned from Golf Tech. So if we break down Scotty's footwork, he's obviously transferring his weight to his left foot really well. So much so that after impact, his right foot is just gone. It's off the ground, it's swinging behind him. It does lots of things. And a lot of people are trying that drill. Totally understandable. It does help you if you have a tendency to extend early, which is this movement here, kind of popping up a little bit out of the swing instead of driving with those legs. So this requires you to really drive with that leg and transfer the weight to the left foot. So then that way at impact, you can release your right foot completely. However, if your timing is off and that foot is moving, a lot of other things can be moving too in your swing, which could cause some inconsistencies when hitting the ball. One thing I see with newer golfers is that they really don't know what it feels like to fully commit to that weight transfer to the left foot and then follow through. If you're not used to this feeling, then it's gonna be really difficult to do that as well as remove that right leg out of the way. Here's something you can do to simplify the principle of the matter behind Scotty's swing to hit better contact and practice shifting your weight to your lead foot without all the crazy movements that we see Scotty doing. First option in practicing the Scotty move without actually doing Scotty's swing is the flamingo drill. You can use this drill for literally every club in your bag. First thing I'll do is set up to the ball and you're actually going to stand a little bit further back than normal. And then I'm just gonna move that trail foot behind me and I'm literally going to swing the club just like this. And the goal is that you keep your weight on that lead foot the whole time. This trains your body that it's okay to keep weight on that left foot, especially through impact. We want that weight transfer to happen. So this is just training your body to go ahead and keep that weight on the left foot instead of on the trail foot, which is a tendency of beginner golfers. They end up staying back here throughout the entire swing. If you find that balancing on one foot is too much, you can instead take your trusty towel and put it underneath the heel of your trail foot. I'm just gonna fold this towel up a little bit. I could use the side that's knotted for our other drills, but I don't need it to be that high off the ground. I'm basically just going to make a little bit of a heel to my right foot. I'm gonna go ahead and address the ball and stand up to it. But now I've put the towel under my right heel to create a feeling of being more on my toes and the weight's going to be more transferred already to my lead foot. So if you're not sure what it feels like and it's too uncomfortable to do that flamingo drill, try this instead where you're swinging, but you're gonna notice more weight because of the towel, more weight's gonna be on your left foot the purpose of this drill is to help us transition that weight through, just like Scotty does so well. And these drills are not just used by me, they're used by hundreds of golf coaches as well. I learned them from a golf tech coach, and I hope that they're useful to you. Comment below with any questions. Thanks, and have a great day.